once again I am here with you. Uh, once again I welcome you here. So today we will start our English new topic in your, in your English subject. So before I start my new topic, let's uh, have some more questions. So I will ask some questions. So first question is. When do you cry? Second question is Why do you cry? And third question is How much do you cry? So okay students Now please uh, Here your attention When do you cry? First question is When do you cry? So okay, when do you cry? When your mother or father doesn't give you something, when you demand chocolates or when you demand any toys from them, and that time if they do not give you, I think that time you started for crying. Yeah, is it sure? And I think yeah, it's sure that uh, when you demand something from your parents, and when your parents do not accept your request and when they do not give you what you are demanding from them that time you I think you cry second question is why do you cry why do you cry same thing why do you cry same answer your your parents do not give you something whatever you want from them and that time you cry because you want those things whatever the things are accepted for you whatever the things you want for playing or you want for eating that is next third question is how much do you cry it means do you cry for a little or do you cry for a long time and i know very well some of the students they cry for a little time they cry for some time and some of the students they cry for a long time uh, Tentatively they cry for half an hour or so or some of the students they cry for 10 minutes. So dear students, uh, tell me what is the use, it means of what is the purpose for crying? Do you cry for getting things, whatever you want from your parents? Or do you cry only just for shake off? Tell me. And I know very well, some of the students they cry for getting the things, whatever the things they want from their parents. So dear students, here we will start our, our new poem. The poem is Cry. Okay students, so let's have our poem number 4, Cry, in your English textbook of standard 3. So this poem is divided into total 2 stanzas. So we will do the stanza wise. So first stanza, here it is on the board. So let's have a reading of the poem, stanza wise. First line. Crying only a little bit is no use. You must cry until your pillow is so. Then you can jump in the shower and splash, splash, splash. So, dear student, here is a first stanza. I am reading the stanza again. Please listen to me carefully. Crying only a little bit is no use. You must cry until your pillow is so. Then you can jump in the shower and splash, splash, splash. So dear students, what, what does the poet want to say in this first stanza? So what does the poet say? The poet says, if you cry, it means when you cry, so cry for a little bit is no use. It means Crying for a little time is no use. There is no use of crying for a little time. And if you want to cry, you must cry until your pillow is so. It means you cry for a long time. You cry for a long time. It means you must cry until your pillow is so. Now your pillow is so. Here the meaning of this word is you can say completely wait. You can say completely wet. Now your wet means completely wet with water. Now water. So when you cry that time the tears will come from 
from your eyes. So you must cry until your pillow is shot. It means completely you cry. And most of the students, most of the little boys and girls, when they cry, so they take a pillow in their hands and they sleep on pillow and they started from crying. So you must cry until your pillow is soft. That is the thing. Next, then you can jump in the shower and splash, splash, splash. It means when the pillow is full of water. Full of water, it means when you cry, the tears will come out from your eyes. So that then your pillow will be completely white with your tears. Then you can jump in the shower. Now in the shower means you can see the part in which the water is spread from above. Shower, so you can see bath in which water is spread from above. The meaning of this phrase you can see bath in which water is spread from above. So shower and splash, splash, splash. So, dear students, you can. If you want to cry, so you can cry for a long time. If you cry for a short time, there is no use for crying. So here yes, students, please, if you want to cry, cry for a long time. And whatever the things you want from your parents, your parents maybe will give you. It is a poem only for the imagination of the poets. Dear yes, students, please remember crying poem. Yes, students, now let's see the second stanza of the poem number 4, cry. Then you can throw open your window and ha 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 ha. And if people say, hey, what's going on up there? Ha ha, sing back. Happiness was hiding in the last years. I wept it. Ha ha. So dear students, this is the second stanza of the poem number four, cry. Let's Read again that you can go open your window and ha 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 ha. And if people say, hey, what's going on up there? Ha ha, see the bag. Happiness was hiding in the last tears. I wept it ha ha. So, dear students, now let me explain this danger. Then you can go open your window. It means when you cry and your pillow is soaked, it means completely wet. Afterwards, you can be happy. You can be happy and you can jump in happiness. And ha ha ha. And if people say, hey, what's going on up there? That time, people will ask you, what's going on there? But you don't mind about your activity, whatever the people say about your activity of crying. Don't worry, you will say, ha ha, sing back, happiness was hiding in the last tear. I wept it, ha ha. So you say that my happiness was lying in the last drop of tears. I wept it, ha ha. So you wept, the meaning of wept is cry. C R I E D. Cry. You wept, it is a past form of weep. Weep, wept. So, dear student, this is the poem, poem number four, cry. Okay, students, now let's have a summary of the poem.
you can be happy and jump in the shower. Only then you can laugh. People may wonder or you can say people may think at your activity. But don't mind. So dear students, this is the summary of our chapter number poem number four, crying. Crying a little is of no use. So dear students, when you cry, don't cry for a little time. You should cry for a long time. You must cry till your pillow is completely white with water. Only then you can be happy and jump in the shower. Only then you can laugh heartily. People may wonder, people may Think also, people may wonder also, at your activity, activity means which activity, crying. But don't mind, you can tell them that the happiness was lying in the last tear. In other words, the last drop of tears carried happiness. So here we are students, this is the poem, poem number 4, crying. You can understand what I want to say. So here we will stop. Okay students, so after explanation of the poem for crying, let's learn new words. New words of the poem. First word is S O H A E D. So it means completely wet. Completely wet. Second is S H O W E R. Shower. It means bath in which water is spread from above. Last one is the volume in pit. Wet. Now it means Okay. 
in the very first beginning of the lines the poet says crying the little is of no use you must cry until your pillow is so it means completely you must next the poet says that after crying you should open the window and laugh so that people will see that you are happy so in the very first stanza of the poem the poet has said that you can go and open the window and sing and you can say ha 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 so it means ha 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 it means you can say happy so same here the poet says that after crying you should open the window and laugh so that people will see that you are happy next the the poet says that you should open the window and show people that you are crying no that is false So dear students, here are the poem number four: crying, explanation with question answer, and true or false. Okay. Now this is the first part of the poem. Now next to you, you will get the second part of this poem with another exercise. Along with this work of poem, you will get one worksheet, and that worksheet you need to copy your English notebook. Thank you.